Wow. What a ball game. Um, again, couldn't be you know, proud of our football team in there. Um, not an easy game. Good football team. Uh, but our guys hung in there um, from the first minute to the 60th minute. And it was a, it was a ball game. We knew we were in for a dog fight. Um, I give uh, Brendan Armstrong and Bronco Mendenhall a lot of credit. Uh, we thought, you know, the receiving cores uh, was as good as they, you know, just overall. I mean, you look at Downs last week in North Carolina, we knew we was a guy we had to stop, but you had to stop all of these guys. I mean, they were solid. Um, I think again, they, they throw for a lot of yards on a lot of people. So what happens with our pass defense today? But, you know, we scored more points than they did. I uh, had some critical plays in the game. I mean, you look at, you know, Jordan Addison with four touchdown catches. Is he takes a kickoff return for a touchdown. You know, Addison had another big, um, you know, a big uh, punt return uh, that set us up. Uh, we threw an interception in the second half, and our defense, you know, held. Um, you know, right near in the third, you know, beginning of the third quarter. What a good way to start the third quarter. Um, but then, you know, that fourth and four, um, where Virginia was offsides on the field goal, we got a you know, chance to, to have another fresh series. Uh, was critical. And, uh, you know, Jordan Addison's last TD pass, and then that fourth down stop down in the red zone. Um, you know, just a lot of plays to be made out there. And our kids, you know, made plays. They kept believing. And um, like I said, Virginia's a good football team. Uh, you know, again, Brendan Armstrong must have been able to play last week. Uh, any wins that he saw pregame, you know, must have been an act. Because uh, that guy's a tough, tough guy and a really, really good football player. So, um, you know, Coastal Champions, that's really not what our goal is. It's to be ACC championship, but we got, you know, unfinished business with Syracuse this weekend, and then, you know, we'll all head to Charlotte. So, questions? Matt, with, with, uh, you got, when you guys went to Jordan, two of those were on fourth down, one was on that late third down, you know, situations where teams might think, hey, run the ball, you know, grind out the yards, but you guys went deep to him on, the, on those plays. Yeah. Was that safe for you guys when you just rely on him? Yeah, I mean, that was the plan going in. We knew that, you know, try to pack the box and we're going to try to stop until fourth down. So, you know, we're about 93% run on fourth and one and really maybe third and one. We run the ball, so we knew that. We built some tendencies up that way. And, you know, Coach Whipple had the plan. You know, it's, it's not easy as head coach sitting there, you know, watching us throw the ball on fourth and one. Um, but, you know, they thought it was there, and and, uh, and it was. It was a great call, and, um, you know, we made some, made some big plays. Kenny Pickett's last game at Heinz Field at the uniform tutorial this time. Uh, what do you say about his performance uh, today? You know, another gutsy performance for Kenny Pickett. I mean, you know, him and Jordan Addison, which maybe they're, maybe they're in a tie for the Heisman. If, uh, <laughs> if, uh, if Jordan Addison didn't get the blitz the cough today, I don't know who does. Um, but, uh, you know, Kenny Pickett was outstanding. I mean, just a tough guy. Went down for a minute there and, and came, you know, came rolling back and, and uh, you know, threw a pick before the half, but that was kind of a, you know, nod or, you know, nod. Play really, I mean, he was taking a shot trying to get us in field goal range. Um, you know, didn't like the one in the third quarter, but uh, you know, we'll look at it. He must have done a good job disguising coverages. But you know, Kenny Pickett, you know, it's great for him to go out in Heinz Field like that. How does it uh, change your uh, full defensive game plan losing your middle linebacker on the third play of the game? It changes it a lot. I mean, Sebastian is one of our best players on defense. That was a, that was a game changer. He was critical in some of the coverage things that we were doing. Uh, we knew we could match up with some of those guys underneath athletically. Um, you know, we needed him in there and, uh, to not have him that, that hurt us. Um, he, he's, he's become the leader of our defense and, and runs the show. But Brandon George and Chase Pine, uh, Chase Pine being a senior, came in there and stepped up, made some big plays as well. What do you think of the call on Cervasio? You know, players play, coaches coach, and officials officiate. You know, I got my opinions, but I'll keep them to myself. Is it still different than winning the Coastal a few years ago? Older group, programs may be in a different spot. Older group, and if, you know, what feels different is being able to do it right here in front of our hometown, in Pittsburgh, in front of all our Panther Pit, the, the, the Pit fans. They deserve that today. That was fun to do it here, uh, as opposed to down in, in you know, Winston-Salem, you know, North Carolina by ourselves, uh, even though we have a few fans there. But to be able to do it there, uh, have a trophy presentation there in Heinz Field is you know historic for our guys. And, uh, we haven't been in the ACC that long, but to be Coastal Championship, uh, Coastal Champions twice, and again be able to clinch it here in Heinz Field was critical. And we didn't really talk about it during the week. I really didn't want to talk about it. Just wanted to just be one and zero, and that's what our kids did. What about the state of the program three years later? You know, hey, just one and zero today, Larry. I mean, you're, Jerry, um, you, you guys can you know. You guys can write what you want to write. Uh, state of program is good. I mean, we're in, in good position, uh, but you only.
always good as last your last outing. And, um, you know, we'll move on. We got a lot of things to fix. We got to get healthy and, and uh, get a good Syracuse team up in Syracuse, New York. Pat, uh, you talked about you know, as a head coach, it's it's hard to say. Okay, we're going to throw it on fourth and one. Is part of being okay with that the trust you have in Kenny and Jordan like personally to, to say these guys, we know we can execute that. Yeah, Kenny Jordan, the coach Whipple, it's like, Whoa. it's just, you know, I mean, it's one yard. We can run a quarterback sneak and probably get it, but uh, you know, it's big plays in the game, and um, you know, it's, it's why it's why you hire good people to, to do the job and, and set it up and get it done. What do you like from your running game, and was Izzy available late in the game as well? Izzy wasn't available. You know, got a little tweaking. He'll be fine. You know, he's got some good dance moves in there uh, post game, mm -hmm. so he's fine. Uh, but we just didn't want to make sure that uh, you know he's going to be okay. But you know, again, we got faith in again. You guys ask all the time, like, why is Izzy? Why we rotate those guys? Because we trust everybody. And uh, Vince Davis had a great day. You know, Rodney's a bull. Uh, you know, he had some you know some terrific runs here near the end. And, you can't you can't win championships with one guy. You need to have a few, and, and you got to keep them with you. You got to keep them engaged, and you got to keep giving the ball. You know, again, I guess you know, Vince had a nice day in hundred yards rushing, um, and uh, it was a good day for our rushing game. Pat, there were a number of big plays on special teams. You had the kickoff return, a good punt return. A.J. Woods had a really critical fumble recovery. What did you see in that uh, area of the game overall? Well, we've been we waiting to break one. Um, you know, putting Izzy back to our kickoff return is a great move. Um, he's physical. He's fast. That was that, that was that was fun to watch. Uh, you know, get a kickoff return for a touchdown. Uh, you don't get them very often. And, and we've been waiting to explode in one of these special teams. And, you, know, you only you know it only happened when it happened. And uh, you don't you know, so many touchbacks nowadays. You don't get, get many opportunities. I mean, they fair caught every every kickoff return. Uh, I don't think you know. We didn't like how we were running down the field what, but I was kind of shocked at that. But you know, our return game has gotten good the last few weeks, especially our public return um, with uh, Jordan Addison back there. What do you see the, in the problems in the pass defense today? I, you know, I see it as a really good quarterback on the other side. I see you know, a lot of great targets that he's got. They line up in a lot of different formations and empty. And again, I'll look at the tape. I'll be able to tell you a little bit more on Monday. But you know, just didn't make plays. And again, they got they got good players and they got a good scheme. And again, he's done that to everybody they played. And uh, didn't do it to Notre Dame because he wasn't out there. Would have been a different you know story if another guy was out there. But uh, like I said, I've got a ton of respect for for Armstrong. I think he's he's outstanding. Desmond Alexander hasn't been one of your bigger producers in the past rush so as much this year, but he came up huge today with two sacks. What have you seen from him this week and week out? I'm I'm so happy for Desmond. You know, I didn't realize he had two sacks, but you know his whole family. Um, you know, we had senior night last night. He must have you know ten people that came here from Florida. Um, you know, Desmond. Uh, you know, uh, you know. I think he played for his family. They had not been his, his mom. His mom and dad had not been here since his official visit. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think it was the first game they've seen since his official visit. Florida uh, you know, was just tougher to travel with family and all that. And, uh, so they saw a great ball game. And, and you know, I saw something different out of Des this weekend. I think he knew his family was coming, and, and uh, he practiced. It was different, different, you know, different practice. So I think he needs to. Bottle that practice he had up and get a little bit more. But again, um, you know, I think he's, he's um, his best days are ahead of him. What have you seen out of John Morgan over the last few weeks? I think he's now at three and a half sacks in the last three games. You know, John's, John's a good football player. Uh, he's got a lot of emotions and passion to play the game. He loves to rush the quarterback. And, um, you know, been happy, been happy with those guys. And we got five sacks again today. It felt like we had zero sacks. You know, as a, as a, as a head coach, it felt like we didn't get any pressure at all. But um, I think we got a few of them in the second half that were, were big. And, um, you know, uh, those guys are playing well up front. Now, when did you know that this team had it in them to win a division championship? You know, back in spring ball, I guess. I mean, you know, that's when you knew. We, you know, we knew we had a good football team. We knew we had some guys returning. And, uh, you know, and you got Kenny Pickett, you got Jordan Addison. Savasi, Dennis, you know, Mari Mathis, Tesla, Alexander, you got, you got some great football players. And, um, you know, we got to get healthy and, and get ready for the next one. You open the uh, fourth quarter with three true freshmen on the field on offense. What's that say that you have trust in those guys? Yeah, I mean, you know, Jane Bradley's done some great things out with the rest of those guys. I guess Gavin Bartholomew, uh, I don't know who's the third. Front. You know, Rodney, of course. I mean, those are good football players, and, and I think they've uh, come a long way since uh, fall camp. And, um, we had the ball for almost 11 minutes, I think, 10 minutes and 54 seconds in the fourth quarter. That's how you win championships. Uh, our offense had the ball and kept that potent offense off the field. 
Matt, this is a division that since it's formed has never really had a dominant team that was you know, sort of the analog to what Clemson has done on the other side. Do you feel like winning this championship now twice since 2018 kind of puts Pitt in that conversation or, or could lead to that? It could lead to that. We have to win an ACC championship to do that. I mean, you know, winning the division is, is nice, but, you know, I've been part of, you know, division championships, but, um, you know, the real championship is to come. And uh, we want to win an ACC championship. Uh, I think, you know, that's that's the ultimate goal. You know, until we do that, like Clemson has, we haven't done anything, to be honest with you. What really have you done? Uh, we've done this before. And, again, I've been around at the, the, the division championships, and I think our kids were happy the last time just going there. Um, but now we get an opportunity to go back to Charlotte, and it's going to be a different story. You know, I think, you know, anytime you get to go once, it's kind of, you feel really good about it. Uh, but when you go the second time, you go to win it, and that's kind of what I've done in the past, and that's what we're going to do this year. Right, Pat, that's what I was, I was actually going to ask. Them. Does it feel, though, more tangible? I mean, you, four years ago, you played a, a great team in the ACC championship game, and you guys are sort of like, hey, we're here, this is great. Does it feel like it's attainable and not just, hey, we get to go and play, but that it's something that's actually – yeah, I thought it was attainable back then. I mean, I think we always have, you know, uh, hope and faith and a belief that we can win the thing. And I think our kids went down there. And I just think, you know, it was a little bit different. But our guys are focused on that. And, again, there's, there's, you know, there's some good teams in it, whether it's Wake or Clemson. I don't know, North Carolina State. I don't know who our opponent's going to be. I have no idea. I haven't even looked to see what's going on over there and who's won, who's lost, you know, what are the possibilities of, uh, you know, who they even the opponent is. Uh, but we'll dig into that this week and start to get game planning on that next game, too. What was the feeling like for you holding the microphone in the middle of Heinz Field talking to the fans? Oh, it was awesome. Like I said, the fans were outstanding. The Pit, you know, the Panther Pit was uh, like they've been all year. I mean, uh, I can't say enough about, you know, all our season ticket holders, uh, you know, everybody that showed up today, last week, the week before. Uh, they've been outstanding, the best I've seen in the seven years that I've been the head coach here. And uh, hopefully it just continues to get better. And they traveled to Syracuse this weekend, too. Will you reward yourself or celebrate tonight or anything by Monday, just relishing in the fact that you um, Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Depends on what time I get out of here. Maybe I'll take a shower, put my suit back on, and, and uh, you know, it's just good to see my, my wife and kids out on the field. They were excited. It was good to get all our families down on the field. And I think it was six minutes left to go in the game. We got them down there expecting the victory. And uh, it was good that our wife and kids of our staff could get down and, and enjoy the moment down on the field. Okay. And there's no